In this video, I want to demonstrate the basics of ray diagrams, what we're doing when we're drawing a ray diagram. And I especially want to justify the shortcut that we have been doing where we are drawing uh, the object with, its, with the bottom of the object on the principal axis. So first, let's find the focal point for our lens. We're going to do that by shining in three parallel light rays and finding the, the place where they intersect. Okay, so here's the focal point. And I'm trying also to get the lens uh, centered. That will affect our other results. Okay, and here's the focal point on the other side. Now what I'm going to do is draw an object. Let's suppose our object is um, a candle. It looks like this. And a ray diagram, what you're doing is you're drawing some sample rays from the top of the object that pass through the lens and then intersect over on the other side. And we're going to do that using a single light ray and I'm going to line this up with the point on the top of the candle and it doesn't matter what light rays I do because all the light rays from that point are going to intersect at the same place. So it doesn't matter which ones, I'm just going to do four random uh, light rays here. but Ignore the light ray that comes before the candle. Just imagine that it's starting here and moving um, you know, towards, towards the lens. And I'm just going to draw the outgoing light ray because we want to find the intersection of, of all the outgoing light rays that originated at the top of the candle. So this one is traveling in this direction. And let's pick another one that's from the top of the object. And a third light ray. And a fourth light ray. Okay, so this is the image of the top of the candle. Now let's find the image of the bottom of the candle when that is on the principal axis. So this line here is the principal axis. So choosing some random light rays that leave the bottom of the candle and hit the lens. Let's draw where those come out. and the second one, and the third one, and the fourth one. So I think I don't have my lens uh, perfectly centered, but we're seeing an intersection point mostly. Mostly this looks like the intersection point here with that last ray not, not aligned. Um, this lens is probably not perfectly centered on the principal axis and the lens line. That's tricky to do with this lens. But what you can see is that all of the light rays that left a point on the principal axis they, di they spread out, but when they went through the lens, they all went back together again and converged at a point on the principal axis. This right here was our principal axis. 
And so then the image looks like this. So this is why when we do ray diagrams, we usually only draw the light rays from the top of the object because once we know where the top of the object is, that where the image of that is, we know that the image of the bottom of the object will be on the principal axis directly in line with that.